I could go for some Lion King right about now. Wait. What? It's not in here. Well, if I can't watch Lion King, I have an idea. The Lion King for the Super Nintendo. Now, don't let this game deceive you. It's not the best game around. Its reputation is going pretty high. But the game itself, eh, at best. I'm not saying it's bad, but, well, let me put a couple things into context. It might be for the Super Nintendo, which is a great platform. It might be The Lion King, which is a great movie. And it might even be a video game, which is a great idea. But three, three, even three, three good things does not make a perfect end product. And this is the perfect example of that. This game is very crafty in how it entices you. I mean, the cover art looks like, oh, it's The Lion King, I gotta play it, I gotta play it. But, and even when you turn it on, it looks good for a Super Nintendo game, it looks really good. Ding. Sounds really good for a Super Nintendo game, sounds really good. Ding. It even plays really good. Ding. Up to a certain point. And, unless you like submitting yourself to torture, after the first level, I recommend that this game isn't even worth playing after that. I mean, if you want a challenge, go right ahead. If you want to pull all your hair out, go right ahead. If you want to lose your girlfriend due to the noise level, go right ahead. If you want your neighbors to have you evicted for disturbing the peace, go right ahead. <laughs> play this game if you want a challenge. Play this game if you want to shoot yourself. But don't play this game if you're looking for a good time. It is not worth it. I can't explain that without having some sort of hard evidence. You know, something that can, like... So that you're not taking my word for it, so that you can just, like, like if I could, if I could, if I could play it. I have a Super Nintendo. Let's go, cartridge. I said don't be deceived. I said don't be deceived. It looks really good. It sounds really good, too. I mean, the, the graphics are great. The music even but the, the proofs in the pudding Let, let's just play the game it starts. yeah to it starts oh boy does it start now right off the bat I don't have too many problems with the beginning of the game this first level is actually designed really well the color palette complements everything nicely uh, except the fact that Simba is a pretty tone washed color but that doesn't matter not too much. I mean, he is the center focus of the screen, so it's not like you're going to lose him or anything. He runs at a... He runs faster than the average... He moves faster than an average human character would. But that's to be expected, since he's not human. He doesn't have a very floaty jump, which is awesome. I'm not a big fan of floaty jumps myself. Has a nice jump arc. Uh, you can control his trajectory in midair. To this day, I don't quite know under quite don't understand how that works. You move and you jump. Everything's very direct. It's very square hitbox, as do the enemies. And say hello to your first boss. Oops. Ah. There we go. Okay, here starts level two. I can't wait to be king. Do you see the swinging tail on this rhinoceros? Okay. This is going to be the bane of your existence in this level. So we have some monkeys that throw you in. Now, for a game that's had pretty good hitboxes so far, it's kind of difficult to jump on these guys' heads. So you can roar at the monkeys to get them to change their trajectory in which they'll throw you. So you roar at both of the pink ones. It doesn't work on blue ones, might I add. In there. Now we get thrown into this little uh, jump or duck section. The game's going to prompt you like so, to either jump over something, or to duck under something. Now, need I remind you that this thing that you're jumping over is the same color as the ostrich, which has this tendency to blend in to the background. That's kind of lame on the game design scale. I do like how 
palette swaps, though, that is very reminiscent of the movie. See what I mean? Okay, so up till this point, we've just had experience with swinging and jumping. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no! Oh no! That's no. The king has returned. So, do I get to go back to save point, or you're gonna, you're gonna make me start the whole level over again? That's that's just awesome. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, I made it that time. And I got an extra life. Okay, that's that's nice. So now you can grab onto this thing. Out of nowhere, but there's a uh, there's a continue over there that I that I kind of want to get. Okay, so I grabbed onto the other one's head. Why not that guy? I don't quite understand this game sometimes. This right here is probably the most annoying part of the game. I uh, don't just step forward without my permission. Uh, I'm not doing this on purpose. The game is really being glitchy. You have to jump at just the end of the tail swing arc to make it, otherwise you go flying back words. What, huh? What? Uh, what? That's it. That I'm done. I'm done. No. No, Rafiki, no thanks. Well, Lion King, I guess you win this round. Do you know what you win for this round? Oh boy, <laughs> do I if win If you were going to say a nice night in with the other games... Well, actually, yeah. Now, you get something even better. I do? A all-expense-paid one-way trip to... <gasps> the Toaster Oven! No! Let me in there!